friends, welcome to my new channel. It's me, Adi, your buddy for learning. And my channel is about the classes for 6 standard students. I'm also a 6 standard student, so I would like to share the chapters and units in my own words with you. And today, I'm gonna do the social science. Part 1, Unit 1. So let's start. In the first time, uh, the Yamuna River is talking or speaking about our capital, our Delhi. And let's hear it. Friends, I am the river Yamuna. You might have heard of me. I am one of the tributaries of the Ganga, the longest river in India. I originate from the Yamunotri in Uttarakhand. Delhi is one of the important cities on my way. The Kutub Minar, the Iron Pillar of Nehruli, the Juma Masjid, the Red Fort, the India Gate, many such majestic historical monuments can be found here. Delhi has witnessed the rise and fall of several dynasties. So here the river Yamuna is talking about Delhi and she describes about herself that she is the tributary of the Ganga and uh, the Ganga is the longest river in India and Yamuna originates from Yamunotri in Uttarakhand and Delhi is one of the important cities on her bank and she also describes about Delhi that it has many majestic historical monuments such as Kutub Minar, the Red Fort, India Gate and, uh, and etc. And she also mentioned there that Delhi has witnessed the rise and fall, the lows and gains of Delhi in several dynasties. And we are learning, we are gonna learn about the medieval history of India. The history is divided into three parts. It is ancient, medieval and modern. So in this, we are learning about medieval. And the medieval history starts in 8th century and ends in 18th century. So let's look at it. Now let's look on a topography or a map of Delhi. And uh, on the map we can see the Aravalli mountain ranges, the Yamuna river and indo gangetic plain. And these are three features, the three main features of Delhi. So let's look on it. The Aravalli mountain ranges have two uses for Delhi people. First, Aravalli was like a brief or a wall for Delhi's, uh, Delhi because when an uh, enemy's attack or something like war happens, the Aravalli mountain ranges protected them. And then, uh, the Aravalli mountain ranges had a lot of stones. We know that the mountain is made up of stones. So the people on that time used the rocks and stones from that place to build their homes and buildings. And then the indo gangetic plain. The indo gangetic plain has a lot of fertile soil because the, uh, there was no problem for water facility. The indo gangetic plain was uh, a fertile place and it was very useful for agricultural progress. And then the Yamuna river. We all know that the Yamuna river has fresh water on it and that facilitated water supply or water transportation to the Delhi and there was no problem for or no uh, things and problems for Delhi for the water facilitation and these three features very much attracted the rulers to of Delhi as their center of power or their kingdom and, uh, and these three I told that these three attracted and these um, maintained the power of Delhi. And then the seat of power for Delhi. It was under the Toma kings, Toma kings who were Tomar Rajamamsham in Malayalam. They came first into rule. The Tomas were Rajputs and Rajputs were the, were the Kshatriyas of the central and northwest India. The Thomas and the Chauhans were prominent among them. And I told that Thomas kings came into power in Delhi. It was in 8th century. At that time, Delhi was known as Dilika. In that time, in the medieval time, 
they called Delhi as Dilika. And after the Toma kings, they came Chauhans, who were prominent on Rajputs. Tomas and Chauhans were prominent among uh, th their place. And uh, we, I told Toma, after Toma kings, they came Chauhans. And Prithviraj Chauhan was the last king of Chauhan dynasty. After that, who uh, who came into power? The Muhammad of God in present Afghanistan defeated Prithviraj Chauhan and came and established his domination in Delhi. Um, and after his death, his the Kutbuddin Aibak, who was Kutbuddin Aibak, not his son, not his brother, then who will be? Kutbuddin Aibak was his commander in chief. He established his rule in Common Era 1206 after the Muhammad of Gosset. And after that, uh, and his period, his dynasty was known as Mamluk dynasty or slave dynasty. And uh, his dynasty, the Mamluk dynasty was all uh, was ended in CE Common Era 1526. And the and that period was known as Sultan period, Sultanate period, because the kings were known as sultans, and that period was known as Sultanate period. And after a Mamluk dynasty's decline, there came four major rulers, four major dynasties, and I'm gonna talk about them now. And uh, that dynasties are Kalji dynasty was ruled by Alauddin Galji and the Tughlaq dynasty was uh, ruled by Muhammad bin Tughlaq and Firuz Shah Tughlaq and then came Syed dynasty it was by Khizr Khan and then was I Lodi dynasty and Ibrahim Lodi ruled there Friends, that's all for today. It's me, Adi, your body for learning. And please like, share and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you need any improvement on my channel. I will be doing it on the next day. Bye-bye.